Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Tim Odell, K6TJO. And his question is, what advice and pros, cons of mounting antennas on metal buildings? Well, actually, to answer your question, the first rule of antennas is that everything affects everything. So, yes, it will affect the antenna pattern. Um, it's not ground. However, it is a big hunk of metal in the way, and it will resonate with the antenna in places, and maybe you might get a bit of a funky pattern off of the thing. It's almost impossible to model in uh, the National Electrical the National Electromagnetic Code number two, okay, which is what you get in Easy NEC or in 4 NEC two. Um, I have a metal building warehouse and want to mount antenna near or on it for VHF, UHF, and HF purposes. Absolutely, you can do that. Now, I would, if I were you, try to mount them in the center of the building, on the center of the roof to get uniform radiation patterns. If you put something beside it, um, it the metal will cause it to kind of radiate in the direction of the building somewhat. Uh, so that's why I'm saying mount them in the middle. If you put a dipole up, treat the dipole as though the metal roof were ground, so you want to get it a half wave up from that. With that big metal building, I'd go for a vertical antenna. Okay, now, a vertical antenna, spread the radials out on the building. Insulated radials. Uh, why do that? Because the radials are connected to the antenna and operate properly with the antenna, okay? The uh, building is a kind of a ground, but not because very often the big metal sheets are connected to each other only at certain points, and those points de degrade with even the slightest corrosion. So go ahead and put those radials in for your vertical HF antenna, or get a vertical HF antenna that doesn't need radials, like an AV640. Now, if you do that, though, you want to put the thing up on a mast about 10 feet tall, meaning you're going to be doing some guying on that roof. And that's okay, but all of the usual caveats about antenna installation apply. Don't try to do it by yourself. Always have at least a safety observer whose sole responsibility is to call 911 or your local emergency number in Canada or the UK, in the UK it's 999, um, if anything goes wrong, especially if you fall off the roof, okay, if you get caught up there, hung up there, don't do this in the middle of the day when that roof is so hot, it's going to burn your skin, and ask me how I know that. Um, you want to get up there early in the morning, um, I think early in the morning is probably the right time to do it. Have somebody else in addition to the safety observer who can be your spouse. Um, get other people up there to help you because when you've got an AV640 on a 10-foot pole and you've got some radials coming off of that and some radials coming off the right place, the antenna, you're dealing with two sets of radials, okay? That thing can be doggone hard to hold upright, especially if there's the slightest breeze. Uh, my assistant, Aiden, and myself were putting up a 30-foot mast. Now, Aiden is over six feet. That mast was 30 feet tall. It was five times taller than he was. And there was no way he could hold it in place when we had a slight little wind. And when it came down, took an antenna with it. So uh, be very careful 
what you're doing up there. Also be very careful about how sturdy that roof is and whether or not you have to watch where you're stepping. Okay, so there you have it. So Tim, I hope that helps you. I hope that things go really well for your project. Let me how, know how it works out. If you would like to contact me, you may do so at askdave, that's all one word, askdave at A-R-R-L dot O-R-G. Not net, but O-R-G. And until we next meet, 73. <music>